Florida, known for its warm weather, beautiful beaches, and hurricane season. The Sunshine State's also known for having invasive species, like the green iguanas, cane toads, and Burmese pythons. Oh, and let's not forget termites. Termites chew through $5 billion worth of property every year. There are more than 2,000 species of termites in the world, and about 40 species in the United States. And right here in Florida, there are three kinds of termites that can drive any homeowner crazy. Damp wood, dry wood, and the most damaging termites of them all, subterranean termites, also known as the superbug. Subterranean termites first made their appearance in Hollandale, Florida back in the 1980s. And since then, these little critters have made their way to every major city in Florida. I'm talking about Jacksonville, Tallahassee, Pensacola, Orlando, Tampa, Fort Myers, and Miami. Now, to get a better understanding of how these little pests operate, I spent some time with Dr. Sue at the Subterranean Termite Lab. Subterranean termites form a colony in the soil. They come from the soil, get inside your house. No obstacle will stop subterranean termites. These one eighth of an inch insects are determined to feast on the wood that's supporting your home. To get around physical barriers like concrete or metal, subterranean termites create mud tubes or tunnels. Now these tunnels are usually as thin as a traditional number two pencil. The tubes can start from the ground, travel up a concrete wall over a metal barrier and right into the wood of your house. If you have a house that is infested by Formosan subterranean termite, try to draw a circle 300 feet around your house. And that's how? That nesting structure somewhere within the circle. That's, a, that's big. That's, that's very big. big. It could be on colony infesting several houses in your neighborhood. Right. right. And you have a several you know, million termite infesting there. I want to take a moment to clear up a couple of things. You might have heard or read somewhere that termites spit acid. After decades of studying termites, Dr. Sue said this simply is not the case. You see the, the tiny, tiny yeah, sticky yeah, stuff yeah, coming yeah, out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are the, what I call defensive secretion. But it's not burning. It's yet. not acid, <laughs> okay? You know, it's, it's otherwise my arm will be melting. Right. It doesn't do anything. It's just biting me. That's right. all. Do you feel it biting you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, does does it, what does it feel like? Well, I did a pinch. Okay. Normally, I would put my hand in there, but I did mosquitoes last time I'm not. <laughs> you may have also heard or read that termites have an appetite for concrete. Can termites chew through concrete? No. They do not eat through concrete. And why is that? because concrete is very, very tough material. But here's the thing, termites can crawl within the cracks of concrete. This would be, you know, all the size crack the subterranean termite would need to get up into your house. So if you could imagine this being maybe inside your house, under carpet, you know, where your wood framing is just sitting, you know, right here on the floor, they can come up right through, you know, if this is cracked all the way through, you know, to the to the underside of the soil, they'll come, I've seen them, you know, come right up through here. I've seen houses where they've had carpet and they've literally just built mud tubes <laughs> right down the wow. crack to get to a wall somewhere yeah. to eat that wood. So, and you never know that they're there because you don't see these cracks because your floor covers it and things like that. What would make them come to the surface though? Any, that's just how they're, they're meant how they're trained by nature to constantly be foraging for food. Okay. So that's just their nature is to constantly look to keep the colony fed and growing. A termite's colony can get big. Remember, one colony can be within 300 feet around your home. This is a nest. This is a nest. Wow. Is it a living nest or it's a no, dead nest? No, it's dead. We, okay. we took this one out from a boat. From a boat? Uh -huh. So how do you get rid of them? Bait stations, tenting, both? Let's start with bait stations. And then this guy just goes right down into the hole right there. And we check that every year. There are several termite bait stations on the market. And Dr. Sue invented one of them. His invention even got him into Florida's Inventors Hall of Fame. So I'm pretty sure he knows what he's talking about. This is one of the uh, two products we know it works very well. Mm -hmm. And this is Centricon system. Uh, we invented here at the University of Florida uh, campus. 
and we, you put this station fresh into the soil like this, mm -hmm. and it's probably 20, 30 of them around your house. So inside there, we have uh, bait, like this. And this bait, it's actually lasts quite a long time. You can put it in the soil, and then uh, it, will, it will stay in the soil for up to seven years, seven and years. still very effective. Really? And if termite not there, I just sit there. Mm -hmm. Get moldy, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. So termites will, will be attracted to this uh, stake inside here, which is a cellulose matrix, so they really like it. It's mm -hmm. kind of pre-digested wood in a way, but it's, it's a solid piece. Um, the subterranean termites don't see and don't talk, but they communicate through chemical, mm -hmm. so they will find this release a chemical that tells the other termites in the colony, hey, we've got some really good food here, we'll recruit them, they'll all eat on this and bring it back okay. to where their main colony is, and then that will, in theory, eradicate the colony completely. Okay, so let's move on to tenting. Tenting is used to control dry wood termite. Dry wood termite typically will build a nest inside their house. They don't go into the soil. And therefore, if you tend to put the gas in there, you kill everything inside the house. Subterranean termite come from the soil. The nest is in the soil, sometimes in the backyard, sometimes a couple hundred feet away from your house. Mm -hmm. You put a tent on it, you put the gas inside there, you may kill some termite in your house, but those in the soil will not be affected. You take the tent off, they come right back at your house. Can a house have both types of termites? Absolutely. If it turns out that you have both, that's where tenting and the bait system will come in handy. When looking for that perfect place to build their colony, subterranean termites scout out warm and moist locations. Florida is an ideal spot. If you're a Florida homeowner, moisture management will be your saving grace to keep subterranean termites at bay. Got a sprinkler system? Keep it away from the foundation of your house. Your air conditioning unit? Make sure the condensation water is draining away from the foundation of your home. Uh, next one is don't let the wood touching the ground and connecting to your house. Don't let the wood that's touching touch the, the ground, ground connect into your house. Connect into your house. <laughs> because they will travel from there to get inside the house. For example, if you have a raised foundation and you store wood underneath the crawl space, Termites will get to it, and then they'll move on to the wood in your house. Invasive species can be tough to deal with, but there's always a solution of how to deal with them the right way. If you have questions about pesky critters, just send us a note to the email below, and our team, probably me, will look into it for you.